Hi, in this session I'll demonstrate step-by-step -step installation of Oracle 11G database on Solaris 10. Here we'll install Oracle Database 11G R2 on Solaris 10 64-bit voice on Oracle VM VirtualBox and we'll configure here a single instance database. So let's begin. First you need to download the Oracle Database software Oracle 11G R2 software from this URL and when you go to this URL you can find that there are uh, download options for Oracle for different operating systems okay so you need to download uh, Oracle based on your requirement for me like there are very various options for Microsoft Windows Linux Solaris etc and in Solaris you will find two options Solaris Spark 64 bit and Solaris x86 64 so based on your system architecture you need to decide that which one you need to download I have downloaded Solaris x86 64 you need to download these two files two zip files file 1 and file 2 so I have downloaded this particular two files and I have copied it uh, in this particular folder now first I need to unzip those files These are some of the memory requirements to install Oracle Database 11G on Solaris. You need to have minimum of 1GB RAM, 2GB or more based on your requirement like in real life database servers runs on huge RAM. And this table shows that amount of swap space required based on available RAM. So let's uh, do some pre-installation checks. First we'll check our memory size, the amount of RAM this is still getting unzipped this command shows the amount of RAM okay 2048 MB okay the first file is unzipped you can see here one folder is created database and this two uh, both of the files will be extracted into the database folder first one is unzipped now I'll unzip the second one So let's check the swap space. Okay, this is the amount of swap space. Now let's check if it is a 64 bit Solaris or 32 bit. It is 64 bit. Let's check the disk space. Okay, here first check the temp space. Uh, the minimum requirement you need to have min uh, 1 GB or more temps. Uh, space available I have 3.1 GB available okay and in OPT we have 11 GB of space available I'll install the database inside OPT I'll create a folder at Oracle and I'll install the software over here so we have 11 GB of space available here so no problem so first we need to add two groups DBA and O install then we'll create a user Oracle which will belong to this particular two groups user Oracle is created now you need to configure some system parameters some kernel parameters you need to execute these commands and add this projects uh, under this user Oracle and this is related to the resource management so let's do that Okay, this command shows the uh, projects are uh, this kind of these parameters are configured you can uh, configure this based on your requirement and based on your uh, Solaris 
so the next step you need to check if these packages are installed this command package info minus i then you have to give the package names okay for me all these packages are installed if if you don't find this uh, if if the output says that some package is not found then you need to manually add those packages to add those packages command is very simple package add minus d then you have to give the path full path of uh, where the solaris uh, packages are located inside that uh, solaris installer dvd or something and then you have to mention the package names that are missing okay so next step will be adding this uh, will be creating a bash profile and uh, will be adding this uh, details into the bash profile file here we'll set oracle base to opt slash opt slash oracle and oracle home to this and we'll set oracle sid to uh, our appropriate oracle sid <coughs> here i have set for leodb and like anything like oracle or uh, orcl something like that and only library path path and you need to export those values sorry I'll copy it here and just paste it okay so my best profile is now ready and these values uh, this uh, values I have uh, mentioned for these parameters uh, for these variables for this environment variables okay now we'll create couple of directories and we'll assign the owners to oracle of uh, owner of these directories fine so now we need to log in using the oracle user and we need to execute the run installer both of the files are unzipped now okay you can see this database folder and inside the database there will be run installer so I'll uh, log out from here and log in using the Oracle user so let's uh, wait for that and I'll also now set password for Oracle user So password is set now. Now I'll log in. You will. I'll log in using this. So let's go to the path where Oracle uh, set of files are copied. okay you have to go inside the database folder now you need to run the run installer so let's wait it's getting started there are some uh, warnings but don't need to worry okay our Oracle universal installer is getting started 
so confirm security updates I am unchecking that I don't uh, want to uh, receive any security updates installation options create and configure a database install database software upgrade an existing database I'll go for the first one desktop class server class I'll go for server class single instance database or real application clusters here we'll configure single instance typical advanced I'll go for advanced install so that uh, so then I can show you the different options selected languages I have just selected ad as uh, English next enterprise edition standard edition standard edition one I'll go for enterprise edition and this is the Oracle base OPT slash OPT slash Oracle and this will be the software location where Oracle will, inst will be installed next this is the Oracle inventory directory next which type of database you want to install you want to create general purpose transaction processing or DWH data warehousing I'll go for the first option global database name I'll keep it as LeoDB here you need to you can configure the you uh, the memory options the amount of memories you want to keep for your uh, SGN PDA Ta this is the target database memory and if you check this enable automatic memory management by default it is checked then AMM will be enabled and character set you can use the default you can use the unicode or you can choose any one from this so I will use the default here and security this is by default checked and sample schemas like uh, if you want to install sample schemas like HR Scott so you can check in that next enable email notifications no use database control for database management next so this is the database file location I mean d uh, DBF files will be located here database files will be there and it, it, it is a simple file system I am not using ASM here next do enable do not enable automatic backups enable automatic uh, backups so based on your requirement just check it I am just uh, uh, using uh, do not enable automatic backups use different password for this accounts I am not going to do that I am using same password for all accounts let's give a password next so this is the DBA group uh, OS DBA group and this is the database operator or OS operator group next so the prerequisite uh, requisite six are done so now this this is the summary skin uh, these details you can see there like this space source location install method database edition oracle base software location okay finish so now the installation have started so let's wait for a while so it's uh, almost 67 percent complete so let's wait for a while the next step will be database creation the DBC will be invoked and uh, it will create the database so DBC is started and so let's wait for some time it will create the database creating and starting Oracle uh, first copying database files creating and starting database instance and then complete database creation so let's wait a while so uh, the database creation is done now this screen comes uh, database creation complete you can uh, 
check this password manage uh, you can click this password management and you can lock and unlock accounts from here okay so click ok okay so now the next step will be everything is completed successfully now next step will be you need to log in using root user and execute these two scripts okay okay first one is executed now this aura in, uh, aura inst root dot sh and root dot sh this tool you need to execute okay so these two are those two scripts are executed so the installation stops uh, the installation is ended okay now thus the installation of Oracle database was successful and this is the uh, path of uh, this is the URL of enterprise manager database control just uh, keep this path now close I'll open a terminal. Let's see. Uh, let's see this. Aura Pimon LeoDB. So our database is up and running. Let's log in. Connected. this is the version so our oracle is installed successfully thank you